Ladies and gentlemen, Windows 10 is the only way to run stuff, so let's reevaluate old hardware. The M700 is a system I got all over the place. USB 3.0, two display ports, uh, Wi-Fi. It's pretty nice for uh, what I got. This is an i5 system, and uh, originally it was all right, but I was a little bit disappointed to see that there was a, uh, a hard disk inside and not an SSD. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you always got to get an SSD in there. Always, you know. That's pitiful. It just happens. It's how she goes. Anyways, the person that, uh, the user that I sent this off to uh, was too nice to ever tell me how horribly it was running uh, with the hard disk. And one day I went over to give her a second monitor. And, oh, it was just so painful. It was so painful to work with one of these things without an SSD. But, anyways, this is how you take the SSD off or you see the RAM. All that fun stuff. I upgraded it uh, to an SSD and it ran so much better. So much better. But yeah, that's how you do the thingy. And this, oh, look at that Windows 7. This is a blast from the past. I'm doing this on two times because it's just a re-edited video. But remember back in the day when people might actually look here in Windows to get an idea how fast their system is? And oh, look at the old benchmark I used to use, 3 Mark. What was I thinking? Anyways, put this thing on my workbench, just so you can see the specs, I'm not messing with you or anything. This is the unit, and the disc has finally slowed down, so honestly, I missed a section. I was supposed to show you that it was uh, running forever. HDD, not a good thing. Here, you can see it's an i5, all the fun stuff I told you about before. I wouldn't lie to you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just not that mean. And here comes the benchmark. It's kind of interesting to see if the benchmark would change much between uh, having the solid state drive and not having the solid state drive. So this is the first round of tests. The planes go as fast as they can, as fast as uh, the system will push them. Look at those beautiful planes go. So they're pretty, they're pretty smooth. Can't complain. Next up is, jeez, uh, what is this? The Direct X9 test. You can get a pretty good idea how quick it is based off uh, how quick it'll zoom in and out. Of course, this is after I updated it to uh, Windows 10. All of these new benchmarks that I make are post Windows 10. And this is, I believe, the Direct X times 12. Not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. But seriously, I can't uh, can't explain to you how important it is to upgrade uh, the hard disk drives to uh, uh, SSD, solid state drive. And this one gives you a real good idea how fast your systems are going or how hard you can push them. Yeah, I know this looks horrible because I'm recording it off the screen, but if I was to put a screen capture thing on this unit, it wouldn't give me it wouldn't give me a true result. All right, so basically 1,700. What happens when you slap an SSD in there? We get 2,450. So wow, that's a that's a big difference. You can see down here at the bottom right, um, I got a score of 4,000. Uh, for the hard drive before it was only about 400. That's it for me folks Like and subscribe like this stuff always appreciated and uh, have a good one